Hey everyone, you're watching this today because you've recently been diagnosed with psoriasis. Maybe a family member or close friend has psoriasis or you're curious and you want to know more. Today, I'm going to walk you through what you need to know and what you can do. Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Song. I'm a board certified dermatologist and clinical researcher. I specialize in medical dermatology and what that means is that I treat patients with serious skin diseases and one of them is psoriasis. The word psoriasis is actually Greek and means itch. People with psoriasis get areas of skin that become red, raised, flaky, and intensely itchy or sometimes painful. Common areas that are affected include the head, elbows, knees, and even sensitive areas like your bottom. So the next question you're thinking is, how did I get this? Why me? Well, doctors and scientists don't know the exact cause of psoriasis, but what we do know is that it has something to do with your genes and something that triggers the immune system. Normally, our immune system is meant to help us fight off infection and protect our bodies. So one example is when you get the common cold. Your body produces inflammatory proteins that then fight off that virus or infection, and then you feel better. But in psoriasis, that immune system is triggered and overproduces inflammatory proteins. These inflammatory proteins then attack your skin and produce a raised red flaky area. So another way to think about psoriasis is imagine a grassy lawn. The water and fertilizer that make that lawn grow are like the inflammatory proteins that make your skin overproduce. Some important things to know about psoriasis. One, it is not contagious. If you touch anyone, they won't catch it from you and you can't give it to anyone else. Number two, it is not eczema. Psoriasis and eczema can sometimes look really similar, but they're very different conditions. Some of the same treatments are used initially like topical steroids. Other treatments target each condition specifically, so having the correct diagnosis is the first very important step. Number three, every patient's condition is different. For some patients, the psoriasis remains localized to the elbows and knees and doesn't spread anywhere else. For other patients, certain triggers like stress or even infections like strep throat can trigger a bad flare-up. Number four, does diet affect psoriasis? Diet is important in every health condition. Currently, there are no specific dietary restrictions, but I tell all my patients that having a healthy weight is the most important factor because being overweight alone can make your psoriasis worse and spread. That's the basics of psoriasis for today. Please leave your questions and comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, if you'd like to learn more, please follow the link below.